Hey guys, what's going on? James is Exotics here. Today, in this video, we are finally getting rid of this piece of crap on a fish tank that he's been living in. We've had to take out all the dirt last night as we thought we were getting new boxes. Turns out we weren't, so we've got a lot to do today. I've got him a 3 by 2 by 2 foot. And helping me out today is going to be Cameron. So, I need a bit of help getting these boxes, but we're going to completely re read her bedroom. Not sure how long it's going to take, but we've got new lights and stuff, and we're going to head downstairs, and I will show you the boxes we've got. And then, uh, we'll crack on with our video as... I'm going to just do cuts, so I'll put you into different parts of the video. But we've been cleaning them out, they were stinking where we got them. And, um, so far we've got a new box for my Brazilian rainbow boa. And for my uh, salmon boa, we've got him a 3x2x2, by two by two, and I think his is a 3 by one and a half by one and a half. so we just got to sort those boxes out, get them up the stairs, get rid of the old one, and I hope you're having an amazing day, guys. So, like and subscribe to this video if you enjoy it, and I will show you the progress we make throughout the video. Hope you enjoy it so far. So, this is my uh, guy, Sandy. As I call him, he's a salmon boa along with my other female boa, and he's the one we're going to be changing over today from a box which is tiny from the living. And for now, we're just going to clean it up and sort him out. He's currently in shed, so we're waiting for him to come up with pretty colours anytime soon. And then um, hopefully we should get ready for. He's gone. He's gone. <laughs> hopefully we can get ready for. Um, like stacking properly and we can look into further from breeding at some point. He weighs about two kilos. He's not very long compared to my female. But he's about nearly fully grown I think now. He's quite a happy snake even in the shed. They normally tend to be a bit of defensive as they're in the shed. But he's alright. So we're just going to move this box out and we'll see you on the other side of moving it. Hey guys, we're back again. Um, so problem is now uh, we're just in a really big mess of shit everywhere. We've got one snake um, sorted. We've got a female boa to go. And then we've got this guy down here. We're going to finally get his new tank sorted. And then we've got my Brazilian rainbow boa. Which he's finally going to have his first big tank all to himself today. And uh, it's just a lot of chaos and shit to do. We've also got to clean up the corn snakes yet. And um, hopefully, as you know, we're still waiting on my snow albino to breed with my male. Hopefully that happens quite soon. We're all set up and ready. But it's going to take some time, so we'll see you in the next part of the video. Hey guys, back again. Uh, so we've got our first three sorted. We're just uh, changing lights over. And what we're doing now is, for some reason, when I brought this box today, I'm not sure if it would be used for snakes or maybe lizards, I'm going to say. But they've stapled the actual heat mat onto the wall. So we're going to have to move that onto the floor, onto the other side for the hot end. Um, this one just needs some serious cleaning. It's absolutely stinking. So we're going to clean that up and then put the dirt in and stuff, get the snakes in. Everything warmed up, water dishes and stuff. And then we should be pretty set. I've got to clean up my two corn snakes yet and stuff. And then other than that, guys, it's gonna. it's been a pretty good day. We've... Um, I've had to get a lot of new stuff. It's been very tiring to clean it all up and things. I'm actually missing a vent, it turns out, in that box there. So we're going to have, for temporary times, we're going to have to put a bit of tape over the back of it. Just why I get a vent, probably, maybe, at the end of the week or something. But, uh, it's been a very tiring day. And we haven't really got much left to do now other than... Sort out the substrates, put the snakes in, and get them settled mm -hmm. with the new homes. Not really sure if a three foot tank is too big for my rainbow boa. If you see him in the last video, then you'll know he's very, very small. He's probably about maybe a foot, a foot and a half. And um, I'm not sure he's going to do in a three foot tank, but I think there should be plenty of room for him to move. And he's going to have a nice heat lamp in there to keep him warm. Put the humidity up and stuff, and we should be all set then. And I will update you guys when we finish and I will show you the room when it's all complete. Hope you enjoyed the video so far. I hope your day's going awesome. I will see you in about 10 minutes, guys. So we're just getting to the point now where we are actually still, still mucking around. 
with these boxes as we finally got one light in one. The other lights down here are actually fitted and sorted. The dirt's in. We need to tape it down and um, sort it out. The problem we have now is with this one, it is actually jammed in there so it can't move. It doesn't seem to go back out, but we've pulled more of it through. It doesn't make sense, I know. But um, it's going to have to stretch across there until I can get some electrical tape, which we're going to do now. And we're just going to, um, we're just going to pretty much just tape it to the back so he doesn't pull the wires off. But it's a very long process and it's been a tiring day. I can't wait to sit down. My bed is absolutely stinking with snake stuff. I haven't got much room as it is, but, you know, we're making the best of what we can. We're getting there slowly. I've actually fitted the new light in for her. So she has a 100 watt bulb again as she actually managed to, well the other light I think it's blown. But I would say I still buy the same light as they're really good Exoterras. They're 100 watt basking lights and they're really good for heat. So we're very much done. I will update you when it's finished and I will show you what it looks like. I've run that. We are pretty much there. So I'll see you guys in the next clip. What's going on guys again? Back. Finally finished the room today. It has taken absolutely ages, uh, ages, <laughs> ages to do. So um, what we've got now is with my room, as I've changed it around, as you can see, we have the three boxes there. I've got a two corns at the bottom, a corn snake there, and my female boa. On top I have my ball python, which we'll sort the lights to now. And um, in here, if you can see him, He's somewhere in there. I've got a uh, Brazilian rainbow boa. And we finally sorted out the last biggest cage at the bottom where I've got my male salmon boa, which is currently in the shed. But he seems a lot happier. I honestly could have done today, guys, about this guy. Big help to me and to this channel today. Um, I'll be uploading again on Friday. So I can't wait for that to see you guys again on the Friday. But if you did enjoy this video, please smash that like button. Let me know what was good about it. Um, let me know as well what I can improve on. I'd love to hear it from you guys. And for anyone's information, if you did notice, with my mail, he doesn't actually have a light guard yet, which I'm going to sort out probably tomorrow. As all the other ones do have cages. The lights on the right, so like, them ones that are incredibly bright, they don't actually produce any heat at all. So I've got to put in cages and um it's just the basking lights is what I put cages on. But I really hope you enjoyed the video guys. Please like and subscribe and I will see you on Friday.